So, hello everyone, very good morning. Hope all of you are doing well. And a uh, lot of candidates have been uh, preparing vigorously for uh, self based online module, uh, city, corporate, and economic laws. So, in that sequence, we'll be quickly discussing uh, the model test paper, which will be very handy for you. So, let's quickly check them out. So, first one is Hartmark Limited is a company listed with the Bombay Stock Exchange company is having uh, this question is on uh, section 150 on small shareholders so very uh, fairly straightforward question so the thing is the question is 500 small shareholders 50 shareholders with shareholding of 1200 equity shares or rupees 10 each have proposed to appoint Ammar as a director as a representative on BOD so as a director this is not valued to lack of holding of any shares so based on other requirement, whether the proposal to appoint Amar as a shareholder can be adopted. So what is the correct answer? So the proposal cannot be adopted is the first option. Cannot be adopted as Motis is not given. And uh, can be adopted is C and D is cannot be adopted as no nominal value of rupees 10, rupees 20,000 shares held by Amar. So the correct answer as per the provision is and the provision specifies that a listed company may upon notice of not less than 1000 shareholders or one tenth of the total number of shareholders whichever is lowered so can be elected by small shareholders so a listed company may I repeat, a listed company may so more to appoint the small shareholder. So the shareholding, the nominal value of not more than 20,000. So in this case, the correct answer is C. So it can be adopted because the criteria that we uh, discussed, mentioned in the provision satisfies in this case. So 500 small shareholders comes to 50 and is not necessarily mandatory. So next one is if there is no such proposal. So next one we just saw. So so more to can be appointed. So according to so that is the this is the vote section 151 so moving on to the next question a uh, very very important question on management remuneration pcr limited has appointed mr vivek a resident of india and various particulars of salary rfa and children education allowance has been given in case uh, if you watch the previous video i mentioned about the children education allowance so Always, whenever you read these questions, be very careful on the timelines. Here, he joins only from 1st June 2021, so it should be for 10 months. So, what is the what will be the annual uh, amount of yearly remuneration should be payable? So, salary is 50 lakhs. Everything we have to complete for 10 months here, the given data is for 12 months. So, if you do that, the amount will come to 60.5 lakhs, which is nothing but your option B. So, what are the things you should include is salary, rent free accommodation, and children education allowance, and lastly, leave travel and allow concession because not prorated for 2021 because specifically mentioned in the question you need to give importance to the every line wherever required but wherever not required you should be able to pick up from the provision and the questions this kind of things because everyone knows law everyone knows all the provisions it all boils down to the time management and the planning and all those things so do keep these things in mind and the next one is, is PCR is uh, incurred losses, is it negative, is there any excess remuneration paid? So the excess remuneration, so, uh, the excess remuneration is paid to the extent of rupees 10.5 lakhs because here if you see it is 60.5 lakhs paid but only 50 lakhs is, should be paid. So the excess is to 10.5 lakhs. So moving on to the next question, under what circumstances PCR can waive the excess remuneration paid to Mr. Vivek? If any, so the correct answer is so a waiver is approved by a special resolution and within two years from the date of sum becomes payable. So very important provision this again. So the correct option will be 2.3 will be D. So and uh, question three is on oppression and uh, I would like to let's quickly discuss question uh, 5 because we uh, saw Nidhi company in the provisions a while ago and then we'll come back to 3 and 4. So, Pawan, uh, Pawan Limited having its register office as Karnal Bagh has been declared as Nidhi by notification and various data is given. So, directors for up to 10 consecutive years and uh, from being a Senna it is observed that Teacher has applied for becoming a member of Common Limited from the polling, choose the one which is followed. So the correct answer is P 
see you are trade as private limited so uh, being a body corporate they are not eligible to become cannot to become a member of common nidhi limited because they are strictly prohibited so the correct answer is a and next one is pension of directors as raised objects of deposits amount so in this case pound limited may accept deposit in the name of rudra main since it is paid and he cannot become a member so correct answer is your b so that is 5.2 b and next one is 5.3 it is evident that the senior most director hold uh, that for 10 consecutive years so 5.3 will be your correct answer is c because a director is eligible for reappointment only after the expiration of 2 years so the cooling off period is 2 years so your answer is It shall be eligible only after the period of two years. That is A. And next one is 5.4. So this is A. Now, so it can be reappointed for next another two years. But no nidhi can appoint a reappointment for more than two terms of five consecutive years. So the correct answer for 5.4 will be B, and uh, it can be appointed. And last one, the rate of interest charge on the loan given by nidhi will be. So the correct answer is 7.5 percentage. We saw the try to recall the tabular thing which we presented. So it is 7.5 percentage of the IS rate of interest on deposits offered by the Indian shall be calculated on reducing balance method. So once we discuss the provisions on um, the operation mismanagement and also the fourth question, we'll quickly check this out. So meanwhile, so section on one idea. The fourth question is on political contribution. Fairly straightforward. So I hope you found this discussion right till now very useful. Lot more exciting things coming your way. Best wishes. Keep going and have a fantastic time again.